Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Thunder and Slogan here, and in this video, we're going to be speed testing the Carbonara and Jailbreak. So this vehicle actually just came out today, and if I go ahead and go over here, I'll uh, go ahead and show you where you can find it. So if you just head like right near where the oil rig is, uh, you'll go ahead and find uh, this car spawn right here for the Carbonara. And as you can see, at the time of making this video, it is currently still available for. 4 days, 7 hours, 3 minutes, and 18 seconds. And uh, the price of this car is $800,000, by the way, which is quite pricey. And, um, you know, is it worth it? I don't know. I guess they're going to find out, you know, how fast it is. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm making this video. So, yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so we are back here at the starting line. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this speed test started. So, first up, we have the Carbonara up against the Snake. Alright, looks like the Carbonara has won that race, but uh, that's only the first race, so we still have a lot more to go here, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Alright, next up here we have the Carbonara up against the Airtail. Alright, Carbonara is victorious again, but uh, yeah, we still, uh, yet again, like I said before, I have uh, many other races to do, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, next up here we have the Carbonara up against Molten 12, and I actually have to drive the Molten 12 because uh, number one, Nightmare does want to buy the Carbonara on his main because he has a long go below 540 million, and number two, he has then Molten 12 on his main, so. He has to drive the Carbonara on his ult, and have to drive the Molten and Tolv on, well, my main, well, this what I'm using anyway. Alright, Carbonara has won that one, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's passing, it's surpassing a lot of, uh, well, some of the, well, well-known supercars already, so that's a pretty good sign that it's a pretty fast vehicle, but I guess we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and move on. Next up here, we have the Carbonara up against the Parisian. Alright, well, it seems like the per the uh, Parisian won that one. Um, Nightmare, can you tell me what your speed was? Like, what miles per hour you're at? That's all I know for sure. I was doing about 280. Oh, okay, so it's like just a tad bit faster than the uh, Carbonara. Yeah, if I had a little more distance, I could easily hit 300, though. Alright, well, you heard what he said. That's uh, good to know. Uh, the yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Alright, next up here, we have the Carbonara up against the Bionet. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty interesting. So it seems like the uh, Carbonara has uh, a bit higher acceleration. It does actually stay uh, in front of the BNF for a little bit, but then the BNF seems to have just a tad bit more top speed and it eventually catches up to the Carbonara. So 
All right, interesting results. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, next up here, we have the Carbonara up against Aperture. Alright, once again we got some interesting results there, so the Aperture definitely accelerates uh, quite a bit faster than the um, Carbonara because, um, well, the Aperture was pretty far ahead of the Carbonara for a while, then I did see that the Carbonara was like gradually like, pretty slowly though catching up to the Aperture because uh, I guess the Carbonara has Faster top speed, but uh, it takes a while to catch up to the Carbonara though, but if that track was like Kept going on just sort of like a little bit longer then I actually would have won that so yeah interesting results Let's go ahead and move on. All right next up here. We have the Carbonara up against the successor Okay, so again, pretty interesting results there. So, um, Carbonara, um, well, it has slower acceleration than the successor. Successor stays in front of it for a little bit, but then, um, after just a little bit of time, the, the, uh, Carbonara actually catches up because it does actually have a higher top speed than the successor does. Um, all right, yeah, once again, interesting results. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, next up here, we have the Carbonara up against the Eclair. Alright, so again, a bit interesting, um, the uh, Carbonara seems to have a tad bit faster acceleration, but then the Eclair, um, doesn't take long for it to catch up to the uh, Carbonara because the Eclair has higher top speed queries, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, I, I might that I might put that in the video. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, next up here we have the Carbonara up against Concept. I think the concept already won, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it already won. Um, yeah, concept won that by quite a bit there. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, next up here we have the Carbonara up against the Javelin. Alright, seems like uh, Javin won that by quite a bit. Um, yeah, once again, that's all I gotta say. Let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so for the final race, we have the Carbonara up against the Torpedo. All right, 
right, so it seems like the um, Carbonara does actually accelerate a bit faster than Torpedo does, but the uh, Torpedo just has much higher top speed than Carbonara, so uh, yeah, catches up really quickly. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the speed test here, so Nightmare, what do you think of the speed of the Carbonara, and do you think it's worth the money, or I don't know, what are your thoughts? Pretty solid, it's, it's a little slow to start, like like how the torpedo is in the eclair, it's a little slow to get up to speed, but its trading value might be pretty decent, mainly because it's a nicer looking car. Though I think the aperture might be a better buy though, just because it it's just there's a lot more of them and it's faster. Eclair is good too; is way better for your money. Hey, well we heard what you said, and um, yeah, I do. Agree with that mostly. Yeah, I do. I do think though that the Carbonara is a little bit overpriced, like considering like there's a lot of other vehicles that are actually like that were actually originally priced uh, quite a bit lower than the Carbonara, and those vehicles actually like go a lot faster than the Carbonara, at least in top speed for sure. But yeah, um, other than being overpriced, I do think it's a uh, pretty decent car though, because I mean, it did like surpass like some of like some of the supercars, but like uh, the top like tier cars were faster than it though. But uh, it's like uh, uh, I don't know the best way to explain this uh, a mid-range supercar, like a mid-range top tier car, mid-range, like, high class car. Now let's just go with the uh, mid-range in between supercars and, and, uh, hypercars, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here, so if you did find this video helpful and entertaining, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet already, I'd really appreciate that. And be sure to turn on notifications so that may don't some any new content that I post here on the channel. But yeah, that is going to be it, and I will see I, I know you put out the taser, but whatever. And I will see you all in the next video.